guys, so in this video I have this golden emerald eye look in this dewy face look. And the main thing I'm using for this whole look is the Divergent Collection Kit, which Sephora released for the release of the movie, I believe, a week ago. And it is sold out online, but if you call your local Sephora, you may be able to get your hands on this. And if you can, I definitely recommend getting it. The colors are so beautiful and so pigmented. And so, yeah, if you want to find out how to get this look, then just keep watching. Starting out with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, I am just placing that all over my lid, up to my brows, and blending it in. And then taking Serene Vanilla, which is just a creamy white, I am placing that as my brow bone highlight on the ends of my brows. And then taking Intelligent Bronze, which is the bronzer in the collection, I'm just putting that as my transition color in my crease. And I did not use this as a bronzer on my face just because it does have a slight shimmer to it. And I prefer matte bronzers, not really shimmery ones, but it is really gorgeous. And then taking Bold Espresso, I am just taking that in the outer half of my crease. I'm not taking it down on the lid, I'm just placing it and then slightly blending it up. And I'm sorry, it's a little bit blurry, my camera was not focusing during this. And then taking Dauntless Ink, which it's not quite a black, but it is very close to it, just a little bit lighter. I'm just taking that in the outer V. And then I am taking a blending brush and just going along the edges and blending it out into the darker browns. And then I'm taking a Bold Espresso again and taking it halfway along my lash line and then going back in with Dauntless Ink on the very outer edge. And so it's not such a harsh line, I am blending them out. And then taking Diverge, which is a olive green with gold shimmer in it, is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just applying that to my lid and I used it with Fix Plus because the palette says you can either use it dry or for a more intense look use it wet so that's what I did and then taking Zestful by MAC I'm just using that as my inner corner highlight and placing it on my tear duct and along the lower part of my lash line and then taking my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in Perversion I am placing that in my waterline and tight lining my upper waterline then using my Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, I'm just doing a wing liner. I'm starting from the corner of my eye and drawing a line and then connecting it back to my eyelid and just doing a line. And you can really do whatever you want with your eyeliner. If you like bigger wings or smaller wings, it's really up to you what you do with it. I just like bigger wings. And then using my Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara, I'm just curling my lashes and applying a light layer of that. Because I am applying falsies, I'm not like packing it on. I just want it to blend into my falsies. And then I'm also applying it to my lower lashes. And then I'm applying falsies. I don't know what they're called because I always throw away the box. But I, I know they're a drugstore and they're kind of like crisscross lashes. And they just give length and volume. And then taking Misty Rose, which is a blue-toned rosy pink, I am just placing that on the backs of my cheekbones and then slightly blending it onto the apples of my cheeks but keeping most of the color towards the back of my face. And then taking Gleaming Pearl, which is the highlight shade they give you, I'm just placing that on the very tops of my cheekbones and going up towards the end of my brows. And I really like this highlight shade. It is so gorgeous. I think it might be my new favorite. And I'm also taking it down my nose and along my cupid's bow. And then taking my Urban Clay Glide On Pencil in Glinda. I am just placing that all over my lips. And after I did this, 
I realized that it does come with lip glosses and I completely forgot about. So really any of the lip glosses it comes with will look absolutely amazing with this look. And then I am taking my Revlon lip gloss in Crystal Lilac and going over that to give it more of a glossy finish. And to help my lips look a lot more plumpier, I'm taking Zestful again and just applying that to the center of my lips. And this is the final look. I think it is quite dramatic but still very simple and elegant and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I hope you like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos.